Welcome back to Weeb Gamer, the podcast where we talk about everything to do with Weeb's Gamers and podcasts and whatever else we want to talk about. Um, as you can see, we are only two thirds of the Weeb Gamer pro- podcast. Hmm. And finally, after 77 episodes, everyone has missed one episode. That's it, man. We're all equal yeah. now. We're all equal now. Now, no one can talk smack about <laughs> anyone else because it's over. It just refreshes <laughs> the cycle. <laughs> <laughs> exactly now we're all back to what we're all back to zero basically at this point and that's what's important i think that's it anyways so i'm joined once again not by my co-hosts but my co-hosts oh that's me alan hey guys i'm good uh you know i already mentioned to andre but as you could probably see from the title we will be recreating rush hour for um jackie chan chris tucker but just a little bit heavier on on both sides of the spectrum it's just it's just yeah yeah i don't know i'm all right though i feel uh i was gonna we don't need to get into why he's not here but i hope sean's doing all right he's gonna miss a good episode because we always get good episodes in um definitely some good summer anime to talk about uh if you guys haven't seen our past videos you definitely know we'd love to see uh this uh the season here and we just we love everything about it though we do have some honorable mentions today uh some ovas that andre has shined light on so we're gonna talk about that kind of excited for it actually because it's it looks good but yeah i'm all right how you doing um i'm all right living life um works better than my last job so that's good nice man uh, st- still wish i was getting paid millions of dollars but i'm not yet so you know, i should hurry up and share with everyone so i can make millions yeah um as you can see the room right now represents my life it's kind <laughs> of a disaster but that's okay <laughs> don't worry about that better than the dog so that's any- it man <laughs> <laughs> anyways so we're gonna do i don't know there's a lot of stuff we do actually have to talk about true um we can start at the video game level i know because gamescom happen is happening I yes guess. it's still going on the ongoing but game. like the main like pre-show jeff Keeley. i don't know I remember watching this Jeff Keighley guy back when I was like 12 years old on like G4 TV. Yeah, yeah, and the guy's just still kicking. In Vancouver, bro. <laughs> and then now all of it, this guy disappeared and then came back as like a friggin' video. I own video games now. Yeah. And just like, <laughs> sorry guys. Has I, all of the I shows. only have the show. Yeah, this is my show now. <laughs> <laughs> right so anyway so now he's running gamescom apparently live and then there's a few announcements um announcement wise there wasn't really much i no. guess um but games that were there that interested me was callisto protocol looks yeah that was looks like dead space i guess yeah yeah much. exactly <laughs> i haven't played dead space but i'm like I feel like I'm old enough and brave enough to like finally start getting into the horror genre. So I'm thinking of Calista Protocol, Dead Space, and Resident Evil Four, like back to back to back. I think we like I that. We like that. Um, what else was there? Sonic was there. Yeah, which is uh, like our... Lies of P. This game, which is mad interesting looking, it's basically Bloodborne Pinocchio. So I was like, what is this <laughs> Bloodborne Pinocchio. Like, what is this? <laughs> I was like, what is this? What is this? But it looks mad interesting. So, like, yeah. I definitely keep my eye on that. Um, Sonic Frontiers looks a lot better than it has over the last year. So yeah, that's true. Maybe. Maybe. But the issue with that comes up the same week as God of War. So, Ooh. probably not, to be honest. Yeah, that's rough. Mm. Oh, that uh, there's a Dune game that's coming out that everyone thought was going to be really good because they thought it was going to be based on a, the story of Dune. But it's, it's actually MMO just an MMO. So, they're just like, ah. It's another grindy game where you're just gonna. It's a pay to win. Um, yeah. What, what? There was another one there that was. Uh, that was. Oh, um, Hogwarts, the Harry Potter game. Oh yes, yes, yes. That yes, yes, yes. it's. It looks good, but they delayed it. Which honestly, at this point, like on, Andre always mentions it, like every episode when we talk about games. But we just want a game to come out where it's done and it's it's well made. Like we don't want like yeah okay delay it don't but don't promise us like oh in a month like delay it half a year and just let us know hey. Give us half a year. We're gonna buff out the the, sh- the, the crappy stuff about it uh, and get the glitches out because we want a good game. And I feel like Hogwarts, I mean, with our the Unreal Engine and all that the crap that they have now, like it could be a really really top tier game. Um, what else was there? Yeah. Oh, Dying yeah, Light. Say, it got... <laughs> Hold on. Yeah. <laughs> I was, I was just kidding. to say about Hogwarts. I was like, it got me amped a little bit Hogwarts because this past weekend I saw freaking the Harry Potter play. So Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah. How was that? Yeah, I was just in a very Harry Potter mood. You know yeah. what I mean? Do, so do, I was do, ready do. for Hogwarts. 
<laughs> um, the play was pretty good. There was nice. There was definitely parts of it that were like super corny. Basically, yeah, whenever sure. Ron and Hermione were on the stage, bro, yeah. they were just trying to emphasize that they love each other for no reason. <laughs> way, but but there's some parts that are cool. Like they did had the mentors in it. The dementors were like portrayed super oh like, good crazy. Like they would like fly over the crowd and what? stuff. What? And they had the noises and everything. Um, so crazy. the fact that it was a stage play and like the way that they did mm-hmm. magic and stuff was like pretty, pretty good. They did a pretty good job on all. Awesome, that's that good. Um, I don't want to spoil too much, but it's basically like Malfoy's son is in it, and like oh. he's like a top tier character. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, Harry's kid is annoying as hell. Oh, but, yeah. uh, <laughs> awesome. love that. <laughs> <laughs> but the story as a whole is it's pretty basic, but. It's character driven, I would say. Yeah, good. And I was good. impressed, and I was impressed by what they could do, like on stage. Mm-hmm. So yeah, good. It wasn't good. Bad. Yeah, it's it's always Sean's seen it too, but he's not here. So. Oh, that's right. I mean, I mean, yeah. I was gonna say Sean definitely. Sean saw it, and he said it was amazing. Or he's like, it's all right. But I'm 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 not one for like theater because all I like you just said like. To, so what they can do with the Harry Potter is kind of cool. But like I've only I just remember it being like people running across the stage saying a line saying a couple lines, leaving. Like, there was no action for the ones I went to. Like, Annie. I went to that one. I was like, grade, what, four? Like, that's, that's to me, what, like, theater is. And I'm just like, nah. But I definitely would give that a try because I heard a lot of people, like, even people that don't like Harry Potter or just don't care for theater, they, they love it. Yeah. It's a, it's very entertaining. Um, But, yeah, yeah, just the game. I remember playing the game, at least for PS2. Loved it, man. It was so good. And I couldn't even read then. Uh, so, like, yeah, it was kind of hard to play it, but it was it was definitely fun. Um, another honorable mention for games, honestly, and it's stupid, but I can't believe we're here. Goat Simulator 3. Um, you're going to be able to play with friends now, so that's kind of cool. Uh, I think you were able to do it before, but now they're going to do a lot of more, like, multiplayer stuff, which is not that you're versing each other, but you're just trying to find, like, all the stuff you can break or become, um, in that. So, yeah, no, that's a, that's a good one. Um, I will also say yesterday, mm -hmm. a game that's been looking kind of rough recently, but for Spoken... Oh a yes, ten minute gameplay trailer, and I was I was pretty impressed. Yes, the dialogue is very iffy, uh-huh. but like the actual like gameplay piece, like traversal, and like the fighting, because it's like all spells. Yeah, I, yeah. They didn't show any combat from what I saw. Like, okay. Like physical punching. It was just like all like switching between spells to attack these things. Oh. Like really. Really interesting, really intriguing. So I'm definitely gonna keep my eye on that. Yeah, um, yeah. Because when they announced it at first, I was like, "Yo, that's a sick ass idea. It mm-hmm. Looks cool." But then the more they showed, it just kind of looked like it was just a barren wasteland where they were. Sh- this girl was just like running through. But so this is the best showing they had. Cool. And that was the same thing with Sonic, bro. Sonic, they they had like this whole full half hour gameplay demos, and it was just him running around a friggin' empty grass field. Yeah, yeah. It looked it looked but good. Then, like I said. But then this trailer, mm-hmm. I was like, oh, so you can go fast. It's like, oh, you, you can zoom. <laughs> yeah, so. Oh, well, then I don't know. we'll see. Yeah. We'll yeah. see what comes. Um, I guess a lot of COVID delays are starting to, like, come out now. Yeah, so, like, you're definitely. Gonna... Me personally, because you guys won't, like, watch this, hurry up and watch this, I'm going to have to be choosy. I can't just buy What's all that? of them. Like, I'm saying, like, all these people watching this oh yeah podcast. yeah yeah like we're not making money yet so i have yeah. to be choosing we have to be which games i get i can't get them all i can't afford it can't so afford it can you just gift that. them it socials yeah <laughs> just gift them it we have our amazon list down there bro just hit it and we don't yet but that'd be kind of cool if we did uh and then like just to spin off what you were saying about like the horror game stuff i'm thinking about playing um the morgatory assistant thing um and that one's really cool. There's a lot of, like, scary pop-up. But um, what was also announced, uh, the game uh, uh, announcement thing, I guess, was Outlast Trials. So, like, the third Outlast. Uh, mm-hmm. pe- it has a really good audience. People love Outlast. So, it's kind of cool to see an- another Outlast come out. And the, I know I, I said Dying Light, but I, not I, I meant to say Dead Island 2. That actually looks not bad. That's what, that's what I meant to say. Oh, uh, damn. <laughs> there yeah. was a Dying Light deal. There was a Dying Light thing. And I'm just like, oh, wait. <laughs> I didn't even notice. Um, but yeah, Dead, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Dead, Dead Island Two looks uh, looks kind of cool. Um, it just looks gory and looks like it looks like looks fun. But it's yeah, like fun zombie mowing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, what else was there? I mean, that's pretty much it. There's like there's other indie ones that are like they look cool, but like no, what are we really gonna do with them? Probably nothing. Yeah. I, like like Andre said, we're broke as 
as a as a mofo out here. So Age of Empire Four, I ain't gonna bother buying buying that. You know what I'm saying? Like I ain't I ain't touching that. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> but yeah. Hey, right, bro, that's. I think that's it. Unless you have like non Gamescom related news. Uh no, that, that that's pretty much it. I mean, that's it for me. <laughs> Honestly, I've just like recently decided today that I I might start getting tempted to buy Modern Warfare 2. Oh, I, pre- I already pre-ordered that. <laughs> so I'm a degenerate. I don't know, because I, it's not even that. I just want like a game I can just like play kind of like mindlessly. Type yeah, you don't have games. to worry so about like, have, like putting hours into like, it. 20 min- I have like 20 minutes here. Let me just pop it in. Yeah. But then also Splatoon 3 is coming. So I was like, I don't know. Maybe. Oh, I yeah. You were that, saying like, that. You, you know what I heard? Like Splatoon's like it has both. It has the great like just, you know, for fun, you know, kill kill 20 minutes. Also, you mm-hmm. can play comp like you can play ranked. And uh, apparently that's competitive, too. So like it depends. I think I think Splatoon's not a bad pick. Especially because you can have it on your Switch, right? So, yeah, it's not bad. Yeah. So, I don't know. We'll see. I have, I guess, some time to decide. Splatoon comes out next month and Modern Warfare 2 is a couple of months after. Mm-hmm. So, maybe, hey, maybe I can get both. I don't know. Absolutely. I don't know where my life is going to be. My life's in shambles right now. It's very confusing. <laughs> so, we'll see. My life's in shambles. <laughs> we'll, see going for. we'll see which game I get. My life sucks. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but um, yeah, so that's basically what I was wrestling with today. Nice. But. So you have other things we can get into the anime. We can get into our weekly anime of the week. Weekly anime of the week. I like that segment a lot. Let's uh, let's go with that. Hey, also just so you guys know, while I was editing last week's podcast, I made note of you guys making fun of me saying anyways all the time. Oh, you you, you heard us say it. you say it, and then we'd say it, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, I heard you. <laughs> anyways, so I made the I named the timestamp anyways. <laughs> talk about anime. Talk, anyways, talk about anime. <laughs> I like that. Oh my gosh! Conversely, let's go into. Oh jeez, guy, guy, the got the the stories. <laughs> oh my god! Um, I the thing that's most recent in my brain it's called a night. Yes. Um, I watched both episodes this time because. Nice. Oh yeah, I'm caught up too. So. Oh, you could watch today's episode too. I I, I forgot I watched the next one in quotations already. So yeah, I'm. We can talk about both. Okay. Perfect. All right. So, last week's episode, um, he gets kidna- He meets this girl in the street. The girl kidnaps him, brings him to some other vampire girls. Um, <laughs> they have a conversation. They're like, "Yo." pick one or die and he's like i picked the one you kidnapped me from and they're like why though and he's like because i want to be a vampire and they're like okay and then okay. <laughs> she shows up and he's like i'll fall in love with her no matter how many years it takes and then everyone's like nope. <gasps> <laughs> and everyone's confused and then why are they confused you don't know because end credits roll unless you watch today's episode. And then on today's episode, everyone's <laughs> like, yo, you only have a year. Like, once you get your blood sucked the first time, if you don't become a vampire within a year, it's over. So then True. he's, like, mad confused. He's like, yo, what the heck? That's dumb. And then he meets his other friend. And his other friend's like, yo, you don't want to be a vampire? He's like, it's okay. I just got to try my best to figure it out in a year. It's going to kind of suck if I don't be a vampire. And their friend's like, yo. But if... You know a lot about vampires, and you can't become a vampire. Didn't they say they were going to kill you? And he's like, oh, <laughs> damn, I might die. Oh, shoot. <laughs> he's like, I might die in a year. And then there was this random kid that was apparently their friend that they never mentioned before. Yeah, and I know. Then, right? Jeez. So then they're doing their own thing. He's like, I'm going to take her on a date. And then he takes her on a failure of a date. Then she flies in the sky and says, just do what we've been doing. Those are fun dates. And he's like, okay, I'll do my best. And then they see the dude on the street. And the street's like, yo, we're friends, right? And he's like, yeah, we're friends, I guess. I want to be you, though, because you're my favorite. And he's like, okay, I have a date to go on myself. And then everyone holds hands. And I'm pretty sure that's how it ends. I don't know. I think that's exactly, that, that summed it up perfect. You didn't, you didn't leave anything out. I mean, it's not much to leave out. This fucking I, ooh, yeah. oh yeah, we're good. Uh, this fucking show sucks. Go. But uh, it's so it's so funny. Honestly, it's I kind of like it. Okay, hold on. It not sucks for the pod, right? Not for the right. Pod, exactly. But, like to actually watch it. Because you know what? Like it's it's interesting. I I love the art style of everything. It's not generic. Mm-hmm. It's like very very different. Uh, it's generic in some ways, but the, I like the art style. I mean, we always say it, but 
like you said, why haven't they shown his friend? The, this guy has friends. We 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 came into the show thinking this guy knows no one. The guy's at, been at home for years. This guy goes out for one night. He gets a girl vampire girlfriend. He he makes a harem with a girl that he used to uh, he, his friend, and then he has like four more vampires that kind of want him now. And he has a guy friend who who's actually pretty popular. He's not he's not a loser. So like. I, you know what? I don't mind the show at all. I actually kind of like it. I actually didn't watch it on two times. I watched it on 1.5 because the dialogue kind of gets like a little slow. Um, I will say in not this week, but last week's episode, I like I got a little... It was hard to watch in two times because yeah. they were like dissecting the shit about everything that was yeah. going on. Oh, oh, oh like, you gotta oh, go God, back. Gotta, she's like, oh, she's using her special. She's using her special move where she says, "Ooh, <laughs> I, no!" Now he's definitely gonna say yes, and he's like, "No," and he's like, "Oh my God, the move didn't work. Oh my God, <laughs> just, not effective." <laughs> oh man, but yeah. So I don't really have. I guess my assumption now that there's a time limit, I guess there's stakes involved. My assumption is that. He'll eventually fall in love with her and then become a vampire. True, true. Because if his only other option is death, are they gonna kill a fourteen year old kid? I don't no, know. No, no, I don't think so. You know how <laughs> at this least goes. they also acknowledge. At least they also acknowledge the fact that her going after a fourteen year old kid is weird as hell. Yeah, exactly. They 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 actually <laughs> thought of it like, well, you're you're weird. You know that, right? And then she's like, nah, it's fine. And then she just kind of takes him away. <laughs> it's, like, it's like okay. Um, the one that the the blonde one. Uh, I don't know her name. Kiki Yo. I just searched it up. Yeah, We're yeah. fine. Um, she, I guess, is now going to be, like, really close to him because she wants to, like, help him learn about, or, like, learn how to love her, like, the other girl, main girl. What's her name? She knows lots about love. Yeah, I mean, she looked like it. she's getting hot and bothered. The guy was just like, yeah, I just want to lo- know how to love someone. She's like, Ugh! I'm like, what the, <laughs> I'm like, what the hell? I was like, it's fine, whatever. Um, um... But, uh, but yeah, I kind of, I kind of wonder if all these, uh, vampires got stemmed from, from the same, like, I don't know how to say it. Like the one person, you know what I mean? Like, is is it one well, person controlling them? She called the blonde one the mother-in-law. Mother-in-law, right? Yeah, yeah. So that would assume that the one who turned her, yeah, was with the blonde person when, right, when she was turned. Yeah. Okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. Uh, what was gonna so say. So they're swingers. Um, I can't remember. What I was gonna say it was a good question though. Oh, his friend. Kind of cool, kind of cool guy, you know. But why are they all suddenly just going all out at night, like out at night now? It's like this guy's like, I don't go to sleep. I go out, no one sees me. Uh, season starts, everyone's out at night now. God damn, mm-hmm. God damn. Because you gotta, you gotta, you gotta promote the fun of the nighttime. You know what I mean? Yeah, I guess so, man. These guys are crazy. <laughs> I come alive in the nighttime. Yes, I will sir. say this though, I don't know where they are, where they're in a full city, and nobody's out at nobody's night. Nobody's out. It's like New York. Walk the streets. <laughs> like I was about to say, like it, like I'm assuming it's. I don't know. I don't want to assume where it is, but like in Toronto, yeah, like, nightlife would be great if no one else was on the streets. Yeah. But the problem with every place being full, the streets are also full. Right. So now it's dark and there's people in my way. So that's an issue. Absolutely, absolutely, <laughs> man. So I don't know how where they are, where every like bar and everything is full, but not everything else in the on the city is empty. No, honestly, I, I that's that's me, man. I like I love going out and stuff, but like I don't like crowded places. Not that like I mean, we, we me and you both went to a crowded place together. M- me and you ha- walked so fast in and out of things because we're just like, yo, f crowds, man. Like I don't like them. Um, it's not it's not because like I'm worried about anything, but I'm just like it's hot. People could see me. I don't really want to be hot and people can see me. You know what I mean? Um, but uh, like like my girlfriend loves like the idea of New York and, and Toronto, like being out and all that. I'm like, man, it just put me, like you said, in a city where it's like, there's things to do, but not too many people there. And I'm all down for it. Like, I'm good. But just having it too yeah. crowded just sucks, honestly. Oh, I forgot <laughs> what I was going to say. We, we've we never seen a guy vampire. Yeah, that's true. Right? So, last episode, uh, if, now this is what I was going to, because now you were like, remember last week, if you guys watched that, last week's episode. Um, Andre's like, use your this week's brain and talk about the thing. Um, and I'm like, oh crap! I wanted to say something, but I forgot. But what it, what it was was, how do we even know that a guy can become a vampire? Maybe it's like a pre mantis thing. And this was last week, me thinking, right? But now this week, because like they all confirmed, like yeah, yeah, he's good. Like he's got a year to figure it out. Like I feel like uh, it's rare for a guy to become a vampire and fall in love with these 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 female vampires. But I'm I'm also skeptical about his friend, the the Seki one. Like, cause it, it made you it made you 
like assume that whoever he was seeing was a vampire also. Yeah, yeah, that's what I but thought. But she didn't look like a vampire because like when the blonde girl was first introduced, like it, she had like the sharp tooth the entire time. Yeah. Like she was talking, like he didn't notice what I like noticed immediately. I was like, "Oh, her tooth is sharp. I guess she's a vampire." Right. Or no, I think but, um, I think I think his friend the girl the other a... guy was with was just a normal look like yeah. a normal chick. Well, no, I think I think because like this episode they put an emphasis on um the main character is like the girl, the human girlfriend uh mm -hmm. human girl friend uh was like oh tell him tell him what you're doing at night and he's like oh i'm a vampire and he like i'm trying to fall in love with a vampire and he's like oh cool like he didn't be like what like what that's crazy he's like oh okay cool i feel like he's gonna want to be like a vampire too and maybe there's gonna be a love triangle said, she never said vampire that was the thing oh he did she not fooling around with some he said you're fooling around with some girl uh, said. oh no it was like a it was he like he she like threw it at him like at least she's not a, like a vampire, is she? And then he's like, "What?" And yeah, she's like, "No." When, when he oh, when she found him on the stairs. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah that's like, what it was. And he's like, "What are you talking about?" She's like, "Never mind." Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Cool. But cool. um, yeah. Interesting. We'll see. I don't even know how much episodes this is, but uh, uh, it's a bunch yeah. apparently. <laughs> it is what it is. It's cool. Animation still great. Colors are still amazing. Their fight scene wasn't um, bad, like like the one last week. Yeah, it was pretty good. I liked it. Um, but yeah. the girl's arm off and all that yeah rip this yeah, shit off great. Nice. and then since we're going through the quick ones let's do licorice recoils oh um, yeah handstand let's see what happens they have a talk about cake or something and then they <laughs> spend too much money and then they're like we have to fix money and then they fix their budget and she gets kidnapped by greenhead and then greenhead's like okay bye and then he leaves because they knew each other from he was one of the terrorists yeah. who tried to blow up the tower. And he she's like, I'm here to stop you. And then he blew up the tower anyways. <laughs> and then and then he's like, I'm an owl guy too. And she's like, Oh wow, then why are you bad? Because we all have purpose. And he's like, Yeah, my purpose is to murder you. Damn. And then he runs away basically. And then Ice Cold. Then she makes poop cake. Yeah, um, I saw that. What the frig? What happened after that? She makes poop cake. And then she gets kidnapped again. <laughs> and then she goes to right, the physical that's right. gets kidnapped again. Yeah. <laughs> Chisato gets kidnapped twice in one episode. Um, and then now we have to figure out what the evil nurse lady is going to do to her. <laughs> Cause she, I, it's, it looks like she wants to remove her heart. Um, my assuming is because like, Alan is like, yo, you. Because you're employing all these middle-aged yeah middle school girls absolutely like murder people absolutely <laughs> that's you that's me man that's all i want man <laughs> Alan, me i just want i just want middle school girls to kill people that's all that's my that's my dream that's you know i could i could have made amazon i could have made google no i made an academy <laughs> where girls go sorry middle school girls go and just start just just have a glock and just blast people that's all i wanted man. i'm glad they chose my name for that too like it's it's very very me you know love that stuff um yeah episode was cool but yeah it's pretty wholesome um handstand sorry i just wanted to say i because alan was like earlier in the video he was like yo like we can't let her live basically because she's wasting my gift yeah and then so i'm my assuming is they want to remove her heart and give it to someone else i guess well, yeah that's that, that's, like. that's true that's true could be it i don't know, I don't know what's either. the greenhead's goal i don't know there's no plot to this shit Every episode, there's a new plot, and she keeps getting kidnapped, even though she's like demon, like demon speed and shit. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. Fuck! How do you like? How are you so good at what you do, but you're so bad at when you're not doing it? Like it doesn't make sense. Anyway, it is what it is. Licorice recoil. <laughs> don't yeah. don't I, watch it. I wanted the deep dive. It looks like, um, I guess the only real plot point is this Allen people, and the, my biggest issue. Is a leader who has a direct connection to right, this guy. Right. They keep asking him about it, and he's like, eh. Ah. He, doesn't want to say <laughs> he, was like, he doesn't say shit. He doesn't know anything. Ever. Everyone doesn't, no one knows anything. <laughs> Everyone's just going like they have their own plan. You think they have like a, an agenda? No. The guy's like, you know what? I'm going to go kidnap her again. You know what? That's what I got to do. And then he just goes and does it. Listen, what I think. Listen, this is what I hope happens. This is the only way I'll get any satisfaction. All right. If Chisato and Greenhead figure out some like great conspiracy and yep. find out that the FDA or whatever they're called, the food yeah, democratic agency or whatever, yep. <laughs> <laughs> whatever they're called, they're actually bad and are doing bad things. So the green head and Chisato team up and then take down that agency. 
anything other than that is just gonna end. I don't know. That's true. Yeah. I don't care. She can kill the Allen dude. I yeah, don't care. Honestly, kill that bitch. I don't care about him. I barely care about Chisato. I mean, the relationship between like the whole cafe people. Like, I mean, it's cute and all. Yeah, it's it's care. very cutesy, as Sean, as Sean my boy <laughs> I Sean, would care. say. I just don't care. Yeah, we just it's nothing's just, interesting. I don't. I care. told you the handstand was like the mm. the hype of the thing, and that's it, man. The fuck? Why did they make her do a handstand? That was so uncalled I'm for. So, I don't know, man. They were talking about horses, bro. It was, I don't know how we got there. They were like, they were like cat, dog, handstand. What? <laughs> okay. Like, She's jealous, bro. Yeah, she got jealous. And I'm also mad that you guys started talking about thighs, and then the second it happened in episode, Sean, I was like, you know, Sean, you know, you know, Sean, man, you know him better than I do, man. <laughs> He said it, and I was like, oh, shit, we're, that's where we're going? I'm like, all right, Andre, enjoy, man. For no reason, just enjoy. Like, it's just there. So uncalled for. Anyway. Honestly, I'm going to try I'm gonna try and tempt that pose. I'm going to be honest with you. Keep doing it. Keep going to the gym. Keep working on your that's core. It, man. And get there. Core. My ha- get one there. hand. She did it one hand. Yeah, no, never mind. I'm never going to be able to do that. You'll get there, bro. Yeah, yo. You just have to respect. be able to dodge a bullet, and that's you. Dodge a bullet, rip out some guy's throat with my fists, and also one hand, one hand on my the ground, one hand on you know keeping my skirt up, thighs. Yo, sick. Thighs. That's cool, man. Okay. Um, what's next? Next. Awashi. Oh yeah, yeah. What happened to Awashi? Um, he, they went to they're the about other to. School. Yeah, 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 yeah. They watched the other team play. The. The striker dude's a piece of shit, and everyone hates him. Like, he's good, I guess. So, <laughs> yeah, he like, does the keep job. Him around, and then the I should have had these names. Spiky head on the on the Tokyo on the Tokyo team. His sister was there for some reason, and he played there, and then left to try out for the team. Yeah, that was so confusing. That whole interaction, I was like, "What? Why do we need to know these people?" Anyway, keep going. Anyway, so that's what he did, and then he started yelling at Baldhead because he was being mean to Aoi. Oh. After Aoi yelled at him for being mean to that guy, and then it was just everyone yelling at everyone. And then friggin' Hannah comes up and she's like, "Yo, I'm making a food plan for the good guy." And then Aoi's like, "Okay, okay, <laughs> shit, <laughs> good for you, man." And then then she then she kicks him over. He's like, "Why'd you do that?" And she's like, "I don't know," and ran away. And then he's like, damn, bro. <laughs> why is she making her meal plan for it? <laughs> and then I guess that was how it ended. And now they're going to play them next game. That, yeah, that's how life is, though, you know? So, hold on. I have a question. So, yeah. that that girl, that the manager girl, the girl that wants to be like a soccer coach or she knows about soccer. Yep. Like, does she yep. like the guy that she gave the food to? Yeah, right? Yeah. No, uh, no. She likes she, Aoi. But she got the jealous. The reason why she didn't give it to Aoi is because Hannah and Aoi were together when uh, she bought the food. That's the so best part about the show. So then she gave it to the next random people. That's the best part about there. the show, man. I love this shit. Yo, okay. Who are we See, rooting Aoi's for? Aoi's developing a harem on his own. Bro, all these shows. I mean, fuck, man. You can't have an anime without a harem, bro. Goku's got a harem for some reason. No, nah, he doesn't. He solos all of them. Um, but no. I don't know. What are we thinking? What are we thinking? I think, I think they win. Who do I want to get him? Oh, that team too. Team Hannah all the way. Bro. Yeah, Team Is that Hannah. What you're asking bro. me? Yeah, Team Hannah. I'm team Hannah all the way. Bro. You don't take a cute picture like that just to not be Team Hannah, all right? Shit. Exactly. She touched his butt, dude. <laughs> like, come on, man. Is he, he's like, why'd you touch my ass? Do you not know? Like, all I'm saying is when he was ready to quit soccer, the other thing that would run across the whole entire that's island right. looking for him. That's right. That's what I'm saying. That's right. She, she, the, the manager one might be better for him, but the one that, wait, might be good for him. But the one that was there the whole time and that's better for him, Hannah, for sure. Yeah. But honestly, self- if like she just needs to get over her self consciousness yeah, yeah. about not knowing anything about soccer, bro. Yeah, like and just learn, bro. Yeah, it's not like your brother's like, like the point, coach of the she best team. Just you know? learn something. Like her brother was a professional yeah. and the coach of the best team like, yeah. ever. And she now likes a dude who's like trying out to be the best friend and still doesn't know anything. Like, yeah, like you're not gonna try and like pretend to know. She watches like every game, goes to the training camps and helps them think and still knows nothing. Like like what yeah, was... she jeopardizes class. Like she literally she's like, Oh, I hope I can make it back for English class. I was like, All right, so like you're just gonna sit there and go, What's what what's going on? <laughs> it's like what? No, learn. <laughs> but Loki, Owie needs to learn how to cook, bro. Like how are you how are you okay, first of all how are we 14, 15 not knowing how to cook? I mean, you don't have to know how to cook, mm-hmm. but also, how do you not know how to make a pass? But that's a whole, we already talked about that. Anyway, 
Uh, great, great, you know, great story. I can see where it's going. It's really, it's a slow burn. We're getting relationships together. Um, at least one character knows that Hannah actually likes him. Everyone else is a delusional, like, you know, brain dead person. Owie's definitely brain dead. I just love how green spiky head dude, bro. Like, every time <laughs> someone strikes out with a girl, he gets so happy. He gets, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Remember, so Hannah like, kicked him, and his yeah. guy's like, just like, guy's like yeah. <laughs> and then Tachi, Tachi Bana was, like, talking to a girl, which is his sister. And he's, like, pissed because yeah. he's, like, what the? And then he, like, finds out their sister. He's, like, all right, so, like, we're fine. Like, it's, like, you know, he's, you, you can't date your sister. You know what I'm saying? It's weird. No, he's funny. Wait, what's his name? Otoma? O- o- Otama or something yeah, like Otoma. that? Otoma. Yeah, something like that. So oh, funny. That guy's actually funny. That guy's funny. great. <laughs> oh, man. So, oh. I assume I'm... Oh, what? I'm. Th- this show does something to me where, like, they have a good quotes. And, you know, like, you used to watch the episode. So, you know, the coach of the other team that they're about to be facing. Um, Like, he when he's like, like, are you, you're struggling? He's struggling. And he's like, good. Yeah. He's like, you chose the right path? I was like... Oh my god, it makes sense. Obviously, I knew that. I'm 26, like I sh- I know that. But I'm like, wait, like I didn't even think about it like that at the moment. <laughs> yeah, that was good. And I'm happy it went that way because, like, part of me, like when he smiled, I was like, oh, he's about to shit. He's about to, yeah, he's about to blast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. god, that's what I was about to say. So, yeah, that's <laughs> why you're not on my team, bitch. That's all I was gonna say. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bro. But no, nah, no, nah, he's a good guy. So, but that proves that he's a good coach and. Scary coach. That's a very scary coach. Yeah. But at the end of the day, like, does it matter? No, because if you're shit, you're shit. It doesn't matter if you're struggling or not. It's not that. I mean, like, because this this new team. Oh. They're like, oh my god, they've never been good before, but now they're amazing. Yeah. But like, they're still the B team. Yeah. And like, the team that everyone's actually trying to get on is still clapping everybody. So yeah, but that's bad. like hindsight. You, okay, think about it, Andre. Like, you, you know, now we're older, so like life, you know, we have different problems, different priorities. Like, mm-hmm. when we were in grade school and high school, all we cared about was like, yo, I gotta go to school and look good. I gotta school, gotta go to school, perform good. Like, yeah. even though like, there was like high school, there was like, after high school, university or college. And then after that, it's like job. <laughs> it's like, there's, the, the thing in front of you is always gonna be the scariest thing. And even, the, I get it, like their B team or what, a C team. But like, yeah, I, I, I still remember like house league even though I knew I was like better than most people on my team, you're always gonna be like, "crap, I gotta go to this game." And if I pl- I play bad, I'm like, "god damn it, I suck." And if I play good, I'm like, "yo, don't even talk to me," you know. Like I'm, and then like I'm, I'm passive. You know what I mean? Like it's no, I get it. It's it's not that. It's more because they. I know the goal obviously is to get to the A team, right? And they're making about this huge deal about the B team, like not getting good, and then like, oh, getting beat and all that stuff. I was like, it, like. It doesn't, you're not even close at the to end the of the goal. day yeah, like yeah. all the guy like the you know the dick like um 18 dude that's always messing with ali yeah at the end of the day when he's like just don't get relegated yeah like that's all they need to that's do. all that matters exactly right like at the end of the day the coach is gonna pick off the best players from that team and that's the issue with like a b team like you the b team coach like puts all this work into building this perfectly crafted team and they keep a team coaches comes down he's like you're missing. He's gone. I yeah. want him and yeah. him and next, him. Now the next. whole balance is just gone. <laughs> That's true. And then now the B team coaches try all over again. But I'm just saying, like, them being in the lower division, I guess. Like, is that that school's A team? That's competing with their B team? I think I think so. I think that's how they I think that's, that's how, how they that's did how it. they're making it seem. Yeah. They're like, so Ooh, yeah, you'll like, never be at us. At the end of the it's day, like, even if they beat you, them being the best of the mid table team, I mean, they, it's not yeah. really a, it's not a stain yeah. on the academy as a whole because their A team is still better than everyone. Absolutely, and that's what's important. No, yeah, that's... literally the whole B team's job is just to develop players, and that's what they're doing. The players who are supposed to be developing are developing. Like Ali's developing. You know, if they lose every game, if Ali becomes like an all star Marcelo style left back, yeah, yeah, literally, it did its Some, job. Like Roberto Carlos bullshit, like <laughs> yeah, if he becomes that, then it did his job. It doesn't really matter. Yeah, exactly. No, game. you're right. You're totally right with that. It only matters to the fact where like yeah they want to still play at the best of their level Mm -hmm. so they don't want to get relegated so Mm -hmm. they just have to win enough not to be last basically yep yep no that makes sense i don't know i don't even look at i I, like you said like it's so intricate for no reason i don't even like look into it i'm just like ah 
Hannah is having a rough day today. That's that's literally what I. That's how I watch this show. Oh my god, Owie Owie is scared because they're they're. Uh, I will say they're playing a high press. Like it's you know very I mean? high school. It's very high school though. The, oh, the definitely, whole, like, definitely. Like, where like Owie just like I'm gonna just talk to you with logic, and Hannah's like, <laughs> but you're. <laughs> <laughs> and then she gets mad. <laughs> yeah, literally, <laughs> literally. Uh, and then she gets mad, basically. I like this is a and very then, good, uh, like I guess, like warm up to what Blue Lock is gonna be because Blue Lock is like everyone is like sick. Everyone comes out good. Everyone's fighting for the see. top. Like it's it's uh, you like I didn't read it or anything, but like I, one of my one of my friends, uh, he was just like, yeah, man, like because he he he's watching Ali Ashi right now. He's like, yeah, man, this is like this is like like you said, it's very high schooly, very drama y, like. Blue Lock is like, yeah, if a guy misses, like, a shot, they all, like, go and kill him. Like, it's they all, like, just rip him. Seriously, he gets thrown out of, like, the academy. They can shoot him or something. I don't know. Something like that. I don't, I don't know. Like, obviously, it's not that. But it's it's like that where it's, like, it's very it's very different. But um, I don't know. I, I enjoy this one because it's soccer. Yes. I haven't had a good. No, I do. I do like it. And yeah. I hesitate to talk too much, like, trash about Aoi Ashi. Like, yeah. when I talk bad about it, it's not because the anime is bad. It's just very funny, like, yeah. as a person who, like, yeah. knows what's going on to just kind of be like, yo, he should know all this stuff. Yeah, like exactly. That. But, like, yeah. it's still, like, cool to fall. And I've been waiting for a good soccer anime since... Kuroko's basketball. Since I watched Kuroko's basketball, I yeah. like literally as when I finished that series, I just went searching for soccer. Soccer. Because you're like, oh my the god, only imagine one that existed yeah. was like Izuma Eleven or like Captain at the time was like Subana or whatever. <laughs> it was Captain Subasa from 1964. That shit was bro. disgusting. Bro, dragons were coming out of the ball, man. <laughs> Fuck me, that was that was rough. Oh my god. I so even, like, I even now bought the that game. We're actually getting. We're actually getting like obviously futsal boys not the best no no, no um no. and then there's one other one that's happening this i even season. bother i know i saw it i was like yeah no i got, I got one corny know, show to get like, past they like they like humped each other after he scored one what i mean <laughs> did um, you, did you, here we yeah. you remember this you know the scene yes, shoot I, goal of to the future you yes, know what i'm talking yes about. i know exactly <laughs> like he like jumps on him he's like it's like <laughs> it's like whoa, whoa. wow I wish I was on that team. Anyways, Shit. <laughs> so as far as that goes, like Aoi Ashi is like it's animated for the most part pretty well. Yeah. And it looks like like actual care and put on it. The characters are good. Um the it's consistent. Pretty good. It's consistent. And again, I will always say I liked how they didn't just make it about like a striker who needs to score like yeah. ninety nine goals or yeah. whatever. <laughs> so they had more nuance and like intricacies in it. So I like that. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. But yes. Um next we have Summertime? Is that all we have left? I yeah, yeah, summertime. Well, summertime has done its job and remained lit. Yeah, um, very good, very good episode. Season, for sure. In my opinion. Andre's uh, Andre's first opinion. good recommendation other than Spy X and all that. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you guys are haters. I'm a hater, bro. I'm a hater for <laughs> life. It could still go bad, remember? It could PB still go good terribly like wrong. Episode six, bro. <laughs> was good it could. Like episode it six. could. And Tack Top was good for like three episodes, bro. Just know. I, you know what? <laughs> I like Tack Top. I just, it just didn't go Did anywhere. You? And then we all, and then we, no, I didn't. And then we found out it was literally a commercial for the game. And we're all just like, wait, we just watched a fucking commercial. <laughs> <laughs> that shit was hilarious. <laughs> oh my god. Anyways, yes. Um so summertime rendering, what happened? So basically Heine, the legend, turns into what's his face? Shinpei. Shinpei and calls all his friends. He's like, Yo, meet me here, meet me there, splits up the two groups, then calls Shinpei and he's like, Hey, listen, so your friends are gonna go to this island or to over here you can pick which one's your favorite that's fine but the other <laughs> one's gonna die and then so then you see the two groups the first group mm-hmm. happens upon shide and then shide is freaking picking apples or some shit and he's like yo i love apples but honey doesn't like apples so i have to come out all the way here when honey not here so i can eat apples and then they're like okay and then he turns into a freaking his shadow demon self Crazy. and then i, I love shide attack. actually though <laughs> i love him he's so funny <laughs> oh my god and then while that's happening we have Hizuru and Ryunosuke and they're like yo this is definitely a trap Shinpei might be dead and they're like so what do you want to do and he's like yo stay here and I'm gonna walk across the entire island 
and then go by myself. Jeez. And then he's like, all right, I'm going to take my sniper out. Gets the sniper out. Then I think at this point, she, he's still his Zuru. But his so Zuru well. like, gets up there and like Shinpei's body's there. And she's like, Shinpei. And then she's like, oh my gosh, his Zuru, thanks so much for coming. And then she's like, yo, your eyes are literally two different colors and red. <laughs> like, I don't know why you think that the disguise would even work. Yeah, like what? <laughs> But anyways, she says that. She's like, you're Heine. You can't beat me. I'm going to kill you. And she's like, no, you're not. Because Shide is going to stab you in the back. And the Ryunosuke is like, no, you won't. Because I nope. can see the future. That's right. And then dodges it. And then they explain basically that when they projected Ryunosuke's shadow, they projected it somehow into the future. Yeah, somehow. right. Like, that's like a fucking time paradox <laughs> shit. So not only did they project the shadow into a body, but they projected the into the future <laughs> his zero's body into the future somehow anyways <laughs> whatever so um then a sick ass fight happens between shide and um his zero yep. so now you can f- confirm that there's multiple shides see like i thought it was like only one of them can turn yep. into shide yep i agree but now we find out that they both can crazy anyways, so Life is crazy at this show, man. Shit just happens. Sick ass fight. It happens. happens. (laughs) He goes for the hammer, and then he dodges the hammer, and then he did some like crazy ass shit with the hammer where he like threw it to block the bullets. Yeah, that was nasty. And then and then killed him, and smashed his face into the floor. Yeah. And then he's like, "That's all well and good, but um, no." And then so he was alive still. <laughs> Very um, much alive. Zuru's like, Zuru's like, okay. Rinos is like, okay, I gotta run away. Um, I just gotta lead lead him over here and then get away and then we'll try again. And then Zuru's like, my brother. He said, my brother in Christ takes off her hair by, takes off her hair tie, and she's like, we're gonna win. And he's like, <laughs> what are you talking? We're gonna about? win. <laughs> And he's like, what are you talking about? And then before, he's like, oh, wait, I'm talking to you in real time. That's crazy. We can talk to each other. That's crazy. And he's he's like, shut the fuck up. Anyways. He got top of the (laughs) shit. (laughs) And then she's like, listen, I know you're holding back because all my bones are going to break if you use your superhuman strength. So just just break all my bones (laughs) and leave me as a puddle. That's fine. I don't need to be alive. That's right. We just need to win. And then Rinosuke's like okay i got you and then for some reason the wind blew in the exact way to make her look like she's turning super saiyan it was sick bro i was i was in it and then she's like break all my bones and use me like the little i'm joking little (laughs) bitch yeah 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 Yeah, andre yeah that being said no 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 no, no, no. (laughs) and that's and then the episode ended right before shit's about to go down why didn't she just take the gun (laughs) Gun. Remember, they're she like, gun? they're like, he gives uh she gives the police officer the gun. She's like, you know, he's like, what are you gonna use? And she's like, a hammer. <laughs> <laughs> just take the damn gun. No one else is gonna fight this thing. Just take the gun. But he needed, he needed something, bro. bro. She like, looked at him, here, bro. bro she looked at him. He's like, why are Yo, you? Why are you here? <laughs> and he's like, well, I don't know. And then she's like, all right, take my gun. Like, what the hell? She, he literally hindered her. I. I do feel bad for him because this guy was minding his business and then Mio was like, yo, come down to this freaking sewer with me. Yeah. You have to help me. And then he was just involved at that point. He's like, yo, I'm just trying to get women and yeah, freaking... He's, he's cloud chasing, bro. He's like, yeah, drink, if, you, bro. if you come down here, you'll be known as a hero. He's like, say less. I'm coming down. And that's it. I'm coming down. Oh, and now he's just stuck there constantly in many many lies bro this guy keeps coming re reborning re- and then just like coming as a different person yeah, every single and then time he's just like and she's like why are you here he's like bro like i want to answer that but i don't even know <laughs> yeah, i'll just look at him he's like yo I, you, you told me to come here it wasn't me <laughs> shit i feel like him honestly yo i relate with that guy more than oh. i thought i would um i don't know it was cool Reno- uh renonosuke whatever the goddamn name is i'll never say it right <laughs> Awesome, awesome damn character, but like, yeah, I'm, I'm scared, man. Ushio's gone, but like, why, why did you think, like, you remember when Heine, it was a Heine? No. Yeah. It was Heine true. when she was gonna go attack him, and then he had the shell in the pocket. So was that shell, like, is that a part of Ushio? Is that Ushio? Yeah. I thought she died, but like, I guess that's like still a part of her. See, that's the thing where I guess it didn't explain. I'm assuming like, that's what they're going to use to bring Ushio back. Right, because, like, he, she died in the last loot right before we yeah, came so here. So she disappeared. But, but he take, he goes into his pocket, and he, like, has a piece of her, which is, like, oh. Yeah, remember? Because Heine showed up. 
And yeah. then she brought all her shadows out, and they were about to attack. And yeah. then she's like, oh, wait, we can't do like, this. Stop! And they're like, Ugh. and then they all left. And then he's like, oh. And then she's <laughs> like, how dare you? And yeah. runs away. And then Shinpei's like, yeah, what the okay. fuck? What do I do? <laughs> <laughs> he's like, no idea what's going on. Yeah. So, I don't know. I don't know. Um, I hope they come out with a ex- good explanation, because... It's giving they better. It better not be some janky ass. It. Yeah, like family that whole friendship. That piece of giving me a very like power of love slash friendship yeah. type vibes right there. So I don't know. We'll see. I wonder. I wonder if Reno, uh, Reno, Reno, Reno skate can like pull pull her from like wherever realm he's in and like switch and be like, I was supposed to die here. Here's Ushio. I'm dead now. And then like he goes away. But wow. <laughs> I don't, you, you know what, bro? This, I don't even know. This is hard. This one's hard for me. Usually I got stuff, I was, <laughs> but I got nothing. No spaceships, bro. No, no spaceships, bro. It's a, it's a submarine and tanking. We, we hit it. We hit a iceberg and we're tanking. But honestly, I like that. Uh, like I said, we, we love shows that are unpredictable and like not bad unpredictably, like decent under, unpredictable. I will say, I will. This is hard for me to say. Because, like, I don't usually wish death upon anime characters because, like, because usually it's the characters that I like the most. But yeah. at the same time, there is no character in this show where I'm just like, you know, they're my favorite. I want them to live for sure. Yeah. Right. There is no one. But also, I don't want any of them to die, really. But, like, Honestly, it Mio can die. would just seem it. like real. It just seemed like super unrealistic and kind of disappointing if they he just like finds a way to make sure they all survive by the end of it. Yeah. I think the I think the only person I cared about like not dying was Ushio cuz she Ushio? died selflessly. Everyone else is kind of just in the mix, yeah, you but, know what I mean? Like at this point like how it's seeming she's not dead. No, she's, she's definitely not dead. If that shell thing's in his pocket and it's her like or like a piece of her, like of course it's going to be like please break my shell. I back. will I will accept it if it's kind of like a a trait left, like a piece of her like will like alive in the Shut show, up, kind dude. of thing. Shut up. So it's like her hair <laughs> strand, but like the strand of her hair was enough to like to corrupt all the rest of the shadows. So like she doesn't come back. But Yo, like, what if he takes it and just shoves it in his eye and then he's <laughs> <laughs> and then it brings her back to life? What would you do, bro? And I will also say like Heine's explanation for why her eye popped out of her face <laughs> didn't make any no sense. sense. She, she's like, sense. man, I killed my friend's brother. I felt bad, so I got rid of my eye <laughs> and it was all good. <laughs> it was all good. I was like, what? That's so true. Bro, I watched that in, in like 1.5 speed. I'm like, wait, I had to go back and put it lower than one because I'm trying to figure out what the fuck she's saying. She's like, yeah, I killed my friend, my friend's brother. I felt so bad, so I just popped him out. <laughs> it's like, what? You killed him. He's dead. Oh, my God. I was going to be like, oh, so, like, this was the part where it could make sense. I was like, oh, you you were, like, freaking out, so yeah. you accidentally printed her brother into her body. Yeah. So that makes sense, yeah. kind of. But then she's like, yeah, we did do that, but two minutes, two seconds in the future, and also, I lost my eyeball because I was sad. And then I was like, uh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I was like, okay, that's yeah, exactly. we're going with this. But, um, I don't know. We'll see. So, he has shadow powers, but doesn't have a shadow body. Yeah. And that's why it destroys, like, his Zero's body. Because, like, she's not superhuman like shadows are. Yeah, honestly, man. Like, But like, also, at is. the end of the day... They're like, oh my god, you're two seconds in the future. And Hani's just like, yeah, well, Shide can do that too now. <laughs> and then Shide's like, okay, I guess I can do that too now. And then now they're it's just like, on even. Yeah, they plane. explain, it's like, as long as Haide is looking at us, <laughs> I know everything. It's like, oh, what the fuck? And what's the point of this fast forward shit? I don't know. So Haine can see into the future too. Yeah, God bless, man. So why why can't but she just see? Past, why would well, so then if she can so do why that? Why can't Shinpei see the future? Right. So like if if she can look at the future and 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 match them, why why didn't she just go a little bit further so that she they could beat them? What like it's so <laughs> backwards, know. man. I don't know. Also, what happened to she? What happened to Shinpei's other eye? Bro, I don't know. It keeps bleeding. <laughs> what happened to his other eye? I don't she know. He has Hainé's eye. Listen, Did freaking Usho in the middle of the night, like. Pluck his the, eyeball the, the out Itachi? and then put in the yeah, other yeah, one. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> like, where's his other eyeball, bro? I don't bro? know. I have no idea. I don't know. Yeah, there's there's a few things here that are kind of iffy. Yeah, if I'm if I'm but, um, if I'm Shinpei, I'd be like, Yo, why is my eye bleeding? Like, what, like, what am I doing? Yeah, 
But also, this is we talked about this before about the shadows dying permanently. Yeah. Between timelines, I'm still trying to figure out: Did Mio die in any timeline that went back further than where she died at? Because why did Ushio die permanently? I still don't understand why. Because she died later than where Shinpei. Yeah, that's a good question. I don't friggin' I, I have no clue. Did Mio die? No, no, Mio did. No, she. No, Mio didn't the prom- die. Mio died before. Yeah, like once. Remember, Hizuru blew her face off. Yeah, I just completely but, smoked her. Yeah. But then he, the reason why I was like, oh, it makes sense she's alive is because he like looped everyone back past, yeah. past where she died. At. Yeah. So I was like, okay, whatever, that makes sense. But why didn't that happen with Ushio? That's Maybe because Ushio was like, like I'm, I'm, I'm omnipotent. Like she's not bound to time. Remember, because the only way they can go back in time with Ushio is if she's he's holding her. Wait, no, that's not so right. She did. That's not Does right. Happened with Shida also. Wait, what the hell? I thought it was like some instant transmission shit. Where as long as he's touching them, like they're fine. Wait, no, it's not. I'm so dumb. You're right. No, this is. I don't know. I don't know. I'm find out on the next maybe, episode. <laughs> I'm sure they tried their best to explain it, and maybe I just missed it because I'm dumb. But like, same, bro. If you didn't get that it, part, I definitely that piece didn't of it's get it. missing. That piece of it's missing for me. Yeah, maybe we'll, we'll figure it out, man. I don't know. Okay, anyways, so we've actually been doing pretty good. So Where are we at? I say we, I say we end it with this last piece. Absolutely. We did really well. I, I do want to talk about the... That's what I was asking you before. I do want to talk about the other stuff with Sean because I feel like having all three of us and then... Because like, if you just ask him next week, he's going to be like, yeah. And then we're going to be like, yeah. And then we're just going to move on. I feel like we should like talk together about all the other ones. But what's the last yeah, one? That's fair. Hit me with last it. Last piece, since, since me and you are the only ones who's watched it, I say we talk about OVA? Tekken, the anime. Oh, Oh shit! No, no, no. Let's let's do that with Sean because Sean likes to show too. Okay, I'll make I'll make Sean watch it. But basically, the OVA is just B Tech Rudius coming around trying to be Eris's friend, and Eris is like, "Nah." Eris a badass. Like, bro. Okay. Yeah. She, low key. That. Yo, low key. I was like, this girl. She's just like, "I'm gonna chop you in half," and he's like, "But your sword is small," and she's like, "I don't care, bro." Yeah. It's, it's about the anime. personality, do bro. It's like she <laughs> she's said. like, "I'm gonna do it anyways." <laughs> I was just like, "Whoa." Oh yeah, yo, that that whole scene with the three, I was like. I was like, yo, give me less fan service and give me more of this. I, this is a top 10 show. Yeah. But I also will say the entire time I was like, when does this even happen? I yeah. Like, like what? what t- yeah. Right. Right. Exactly. <laughs> I was like, I think. And then I was like, oh, like right at the end, it showed him. And that was right after he had the fight with his dad. Yeah. And yeah. Just like, oh, that's what happened. Anyways, we'll talk about it more next week. But since me and you are the only ones who watch this one, yes. I think we can probably spend the rest of the time on Tekken. Yes. Um, Alan liked it. I I didn't say I liked it. I said it was all right. You <laughs> I did, did say, say you liked, liked it. it. Don't I did lie. like it. <laughs> I liked Don't it. Don't lie. Bro, you're allowed to like it, bro. Okay. Dude, this is good. Mm-hmm. We're allowed to have discourse. That's the best piece of it. All right. All right. About shit. Okay. All right. Honestly, there's so, not much to talk about, bro. Like you, uh, Do the summary okay, that you okay, did okay. online, bro. Let me do the summary. <laughs> yeah, that was quick. <laughs> okay. So, basically... The Tekken guy, he's born. Jin. His <laughs> the name Tekken is guy. Jin. The Tekken guy, Jin, is born. It. He's a hothead and fights people. The people come to his mom's house. His mom's like, don't fight. And he's like, oh, my bad. I'm not going to fight. But then immediately fights right after. And then, because he fought, a demon shows up. Oh, yeah. You don't know that's why yet, but <laughs> that's what happens. And then a demon shows up, and his mom's like, yo, I got to fight this demon. Gets clapped by the demon. Clapped, blows herself bro. up. She's like, yo... I'm going to blow this myself up so I can beat the demon. Doesn't even harm the demon in any way, but now she's dead. So dead. so now Jin Sad <laughs> finds his grandpa. His grandpa is kind of a dick, but that's okay. That's because right. even though I'm a dick, I'm going to spend the next two episodes training you. Yeah. So then we get a two episode long training montage. And then his grandpa's like, I'm rich. So I'm going to do a, I'm going to put on a tournament. Yep. And then, so now there's a tournament because Tekken's a fighting game. So you need to have fights. So then we spend the next four episodes of them fighting in the tournament. Eventually, no one would have guessed this. Listen, guys, guys, yeah, yeah. this is a, such a big surprise. So spoiler alert heavy, but the main character, Jin, wins the tournament. No one would have guessed that. Well, never guessed that. Fuck. <laughs> Anyways, so he wins the tournament, but before he wins the tournament, he finds out that some random assassin girl tried to kill his grandpa. And she's like, I want my medallion that my mom threw in the ocean. And he's like, oh, damn, I'll get it for you. Oh, damn. So basically, that's what happens. <laughs> so that's what happens. <laughs> and then he fights the the tiger thrower 
wrestler guy beats the Tagator wrestler guy. And then his grandpa's like, nah, you're too nice. I don't like that no more. So now you have to fight me. Then he beats up his grandpa. And then the demon shows up and he's like, yo, what are you going to do? I'm a demon. Then he beats up the demon. Just clapping. And the demon gets a suit. Then the demon gets a super form. And then they all work together to beat up the demon. And then the grandpa's cute, like, and then the grandpa's like, yo, do you see this guy? He's a demon. And they're like, yeah, but you're a piece of shit. And everyone's like, we're on Jin's side, even though he grows wings sometimes when he gets angry. Yeah, who gives a fuck? <laughs> okay. Because we watch Naruto and we know even if you have a demon <laughs> inside, ginger. you're actually a nice guy. <laughs> okay? <laughs> so that's what happened. Uh, and then the God. whole anime ends. This is why and I make you do the recaps, man. This is so good. <laughs> that's it, bro. That's the whole Honestly, yeah, that is exactly and then, he got, it. and then he gave the medallion back or something. <laughs> All that for nothing. <laughs> yeah, literally. Uh, I liked it. Okay, so... Okay, I'll say this. The reason why I liked it is because after mm-hmm. watching the Dragon Ball Z movie... Or sorry, the Dragon Ball Super Superhero movie. The CGI on Tekken was not as bad at all. And that's what I wanted to say. Because I just... I I watched Tekken after the movie. And I'm like, yo. What the fuck am I watching? And the... and Like, you're going to watch the movie. And I'm all I'm going to say is, yo, Bulma. That whole skit. Like, oh, Lord. Like, I was with my dad and my girlfriend. I'm like, yo. What am I watching? This is so weird. But anyway... CGI, Tekken, cool. Because it almost looked like the game. If the game looked like the anime, 10 out of 10. I'd play it more than Street Fighter. But honestly, Street Fighter, they got Chun-Li. I just I use her and I kick people, bro. That's all I do. They got that bootleg Chun-Li. Yeah, they got bootleg Chun-Li. But that's like, I, you know, it's not Chun-Li. So, I don't know. I liked it. It was It's very simple. It's really like a, it's, it's like, I call it my dad's anime. It's like, there's no brain. You don't need to have this to watch it. You sit there and you watch people go, bah, bah, bah. And that's it. That's why I liked it. Yeah, man. I just want you guys to know <laughs> that, listen, Jin came over and he's like, no, I have to be nice to the people I fought. But only after he broke the black guy's legs. <laughs> Everyone else he fought came out with no injuries. So he had to make sure the black guy with broken legs might never fight again. But everyone else, bro. he's just like, let's go grab a beer. <laughs> bro has to go home in a wheelchair because he fucked his legs. Bro, next... <laughs> Broke the black guy's leg. Next guy, um, he just beat him. Like one no issue. Him, yeah, Next like... guy, he's like, let's go get a beer. And then the last guy, he's like, I'll give you all of the prize money. The one black guy, still leg broken. <laughs> Bro- chilling in the basement with his dog. <laughs> yeah, I just want to say that. <laughs> oh, my say. God. What in the world? Yeah, I know. That's true. Actually. And, I never really thought about that. You know, uh, I'm kind of racist. I didn't even care. I was like, oh, he's so nice. <laughs> I didn't even take any broke the black guy's legs. I totally <laughs> forgot. <laughs> I'm not racist. Come oh, man. Anyways, I just want to know that's just a, just a convenient time to have your epiphany. <laughs> Very you're not good. Not going to hurt people to. anymore. <laughs> that's all I'm saying. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. But also, like, as a Tekken, I'm not a fan. Like, you know about I it. I played Tekken yeah, yeah, before. Yeah. Like, I know, like, pieces, bits and pieces of the lore. I knew that one Jin's dad was bad. But yeah. that's why, like, while I was watching, I was confused. I was like, is this the guy that's bad that's in Super Smash Bros? Right. But I was like, oh, no, it's his dad that's in Super Smash Bros that's bad. Yeah. Um, And then I knew his grandpa wasn't, like, a good guy. So I was kind of, like, confused. I was like, he looks like a dick, but, like, he's kind of... Yeah, he's just harsh. Like, it's like hard love. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but then at the end where he's like, no, nah, it was my fault the demon's here and I want to catch it. And then Jin's like, you can't because he's dead. And then yeah, he's literally. like, rats. <laughs> rats. And then the demon's like, I'm what now? Excuse me? And then now he's like, I'm not dead. I'm a dragon. And then... Bitch, I'm a dragon. <laughs> be- <laughs> Bitch, I'm a dragon. Exactly. <laughs> Moo. Moo. Bitch, I'm a cow. <laughs> Moo. <laughs> Tekken, Tekken so remix, <laughs> So, yeah, I will say the one thing I did like about it is how simple the fights were. Very simple. Like, you could see the motions. The, it wasn't just, like, blank punching. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and they lasted, like, like fight lengths. They were, like, two minutes long each. Yeah, week. yeah. <laughs> Pretty much. And then there wasn't all this, like, build up, like, oh, my God, what will he do next? And then it wasn't <laughs> like, oh, you hit him down, but secretly I'm alive. And <laughs> I had a secret move that I was keeping in right. my back pocket. The entire time and then you have to be like oh he won oh no he won oh no he won you know he won so like i like that where it's kind of like 
this person beat up this person and they lost and that's it. Exactly. Kind of thing throughout the entire thing. Um, you saying the CGI is better than the Dragon Ball movie scares Dude, me a lot. Dude, you're going to hate. You're, like, I, I'm giving the benefit of the doubt because I'm like a diehard. Not diehard. Like, I, I'll, I'll, tell, I'll tell people Dragon Ball sucks if it does. But, man, I watched that movie. And Dragon when, when we were done, I looked over at my dad. And, and my dad's sitting there like this. He's like, he looked at me. He's like, what? He, he like, word for word, he's like, what the fuck? Like, that's what he said. And I'm just like, mm. I'm like, man. He's like, er, like, it's cool. Like. I think the show, like, super, like, now, from now on, like, in the show, it's cool because you see everything that's going to happen. We, I know, like, the forms that are there. I'm just say that. Mm -hmm. And I think it'll look good in the show. But the movie, man, they could have, they could at least took some time with the CGI. Like, it's, <laughs> I will say, favorite character of the movie, Gamma 2. Favorite. Guy was amazing. And his animations were. Is that, is that the, 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 yeah, one of the, 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 the one of the bad guys. Awesome character. Oh, he's a bad guy. Yeah, awesome oh. character. He's the guy with the two on his head. You'll see him. Okay, okay. I'll and shout out Piccolo, it. honestly, because, yo, Pickle. He's dead, though, so I'll see you guys later. So, no, I'm just kidding. He's not dead. Is he dead? <laughs> no, no, he's not he dead. dead. Oh, I was about to say. What the <laughs> Can you imagine? That's, um, that's a massive spoiler. <laughs> he might the only be dead, thing though. that amped me about this movie was Gohan finally getting his time to shine. I love like, Gohan. I feel like I'm kind of feeling like he, they just did that because they knew fans have been wanting Gohan to do something this entire time. So they just they just toss it in for no reason kind of thing. Watch it. I will talk about it after, but watch it. Because, like, okay. and you know and I know, if, if one of, like, a, one of the main characters get a new form, it takes, like, it, you, it, it gives you time to, like, soak it in. Like, you hear it, you're seeing it, mm -hmm. and then, boom, like, it's there. Watch it and let me know what you think. Because I, to me, it was underwhelming. To me, it was just like I, I honestly feel like he's just like I'm the strongest one now, and then that's just like just cause. Dude, and then, oh man, you have to watch yeah. it. I don't want to spoil anything. Yeah, just I will, watch, I will it. watch it. But that's that's the kind of that's what I knew. I knew you're, you're getting the vibes I know, from it. Eh? Like when I saw them like show that in like the trailer, I was like, oh, this is like fan service at this point right where, like they're not it's not okay. like written smartly into the story this is specifically because they know fans are going to get excited about seeing gohan be yo you want to hear something yeah. and i don't care because i'm going to say it so you know okay. the dragon balls yeah can you know how like in on earth dragon balls uh, spoilers you can only wish for one thing but nameki and dragon balls yeah. you can wish for three okay tell me how i'm, I'm gonna spoil it because it's not it's right right in the beginning i don't care Go bro ahead. then they pours a potion on top of a statue and then he looks at he looks at piccolo and he's like yeah you can do three wishes now that's all we had to do and i'm i look at my dad and i'm like what they just have to pour something on top of a statue and then they ha would so have the, three three wishes so the so now the earth dragon balls have three wishes right now? and all it was i'm i kid you it was like a 20 second thing they took a yeah, they're this, like this bro. they're like this they took this they're like they're like oh, okay nah bro <laughs> GT's canon. GT is so on. canon. I, I agree. <laughs> this, GT is so canon. <laughs> G GT's but you know what? Canon, Overall, bro. I love the story. The story, it made, it, you know what? As dumb as it was, it made sense. And like, okay. I love everything about it. The, so the CGI sucked. But the moves, like all the all the actions and the fighting w were good. Like the, the, the visuals were amazing. It's just the CGI okay. of the characters sucked my ass. But anyway, it is what it is. Okay, I I'll believe you. Um, no, I don't believe you. At this point, yeah, you take no, no, Nothing's better than Super Saiyan Four, bro. Nothing, bro. Gogeta. Oh man, and just the whole concept of Super Saiyan Four, like getting back to like the primal. Roots, yeah, yeah. You go ape, but then you it's control just... ape. Monkey strong, like like that's so yeah. smart, man. Yeah, man. Like Super Saiyan God is just like color. Yo, know, you have to you have to collect all the hearts of the saiyans and then yeah, beat like, it together and then dude. vegeta's like yeah but what if i don't do that and he's like okay you can do it too he's like yeah if you have enough ego <laughs> and he does it he's like oh okay oh yeah ego mode ego mode yes <laughs> no, yeah the, ego mode but i'm just like and like this is the issue like if they're saiyans like the fact that everything progressed within the saiyan race but now everyone's just like learning all these transformation from all these different sources. Yeah. Oh and my like, god. Nothing's connected anymore. You said like, this, bro. Point? Just watch the movie and tell me what the <laughs> fuck Pan's doing. That's all I'm saying. Like oh, Pan. Uh, bro, I mean, they they brought Pan. She's three years old. Three. Yeah, I've been waiting 
for probably 12 years for Super Saiyan Pan. That's all I'm saying. Well, it's been so long. You might, I've been waiting you might get it at this movie. I'm telling you that. As a three-year-old, of course. <laughs> she's, <just laughs> fucking, the... she's beating up like she solos the whole verse. Like, what the hell? Yeah, she's she's okay. quarter of a Saiyan. Or not even. She's like negative Saiyan, but like, hey. And somehow the less Saiyan you are, the better the stronger, you are being yeah, a Saiyan. Yeah. <laughs> Dilutes it to human. Suddenly a human can't do anything. They're all blasting her cool. It's not a But fault. I guess that's technically like Tokyo Ghoul is the same thing. They're like full ghoul? Nah. Half ghoul? Strong. Strong. <laughs> <shit>. Strong. <laughs> so weird. Anyways, whatever, bro. Any Tekken was, I would say it was a fun ride, yeah. but it's like story-wise, whatever. It, it was weird. very meh. Let me do this out. And I, the only thing I had issue with it I had was like story-wise. Like, because you said oh, it was yeah. good. I was expecting like Dude, substance. I turned off my brain wasn't. so fast when I was watching it. All I saw was well, punching and kicking. Well, you have to say these things before. <laughs> no, when I say because stuff, I was is expecting. Good. I was expecting substance, and then I just didn't. Hey, what's get worse, Vivi or Vivi or Tekken? No, no, no. Vivi's better than Tekken. <laughs> oh come on! No, no, Vivi's better than Tekken. Nah, you're you're Tekken you're trolling is me. Tekken is plus like five for the fight actually no it's a plus like seven for like the fighting and like yeah just like story is like, like a fun. fucking one yeah story is negative three and then characters because i hate all of them is like yeah, a yeah. negative four honestly so they're two. racist too for the black guy thing honestly it's a it's a negative two. yeah that too bro negative that's so two that's so racist score for tekken yeah bro oh, they cancel funny. angel but yeah, Andrew no, Tate. they better cancel them. tekken bro fuck did you? I watched the English dub, so maybe that's. No, I watched English dub too. I didn't feel like doing Japanese with that shit. It was all right. It was. It was like it was very kiddish. Hey guys, let's go fight. <laughs> it's like all right, fuck man, relax, just talk normal. And then there's a random guy with a friggin' with the the blonde guy <laughs> the blonde. with the friggin' thing. He's like, he's like, yo, he almost beat your dad, Jin. He's super strong. Immediately gets clapped. <laughs> Immediately, <laughs> like in a snap, just dead. Oh my god. I was like, what is this going on? Anyways, yeah. so it was a fun time, story wise, week. So I will give it at the end of the day a three out of. 10. Yeah, I was gonna say I'll give it. A, I'll give it a four because I turned my brain off so hard on that um but yeah anyway anyway guys thank you for watching um yes we're only two-thirds but we're still 100 percent weeb gamer so if you guys are also weeb gamer you better hit that like button or subscribe button whichever one you'd like uh audio comes out fridays saturdays the video comes out we got tiktoks we just posted one today it's booming because anime people are dege degenerates and they love just women sicko sicko oh. mode man they all went sicko mode this time <laughs> But yeah, please check that out. Please check our Twitter out. Please check our Instagram out. Uh, you'll 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 catch our stuff on there. Keep, we'll keep you updated. But it's been fun. Andre knows how to keep me entertained. So you know, episode seventy what six? Man, we're still going strong. And yeah, just show us some love. We'll show it back. Seventy seven. Fuck it? man, so, I don't know. It's been it's almost two years, man. I think right. I I think that's a good sign. Once it's, we have enough episodes where we don't know anymore. Yeah, we just we do need to do job. it at this point. That's it. I love it. Anyway, job. that's pretty much it for me. Pretty much it for Mondra. You guys have a great night. Bye. Bye.